Welcome to our video on the advantages of learning what's possible with SharePoint, SharePoint libraries, metadata, and custom list views. If you're someone who relies on Office, OneDrive, Teams, and SharePoint on a daily basis, but feels like you could be getting more out of it, or if you're a seasoned user who thinks they already know everything there is to know about SharePoint, then this video is for you. In the next few minutes, we'll show you how easy it is to implement SharePoint features that can dramatically simplify document handling processes, reduce frustration, increase productivity, and make your whole team more empowered and successful. So sit back, relax, and in just a few minutes, you'll see how simple it is to create powerful, effective SharePoint intranets. First, we need to understand why SharePoint and intranets even exist. When Microsoft Office was released back in 1990, companies quickly began generating an excessive number of documents that needed to be managed. Initially, most companies approached managing those documents by implementing shared network drives and giving each department its own folder on that drive. However, this provided only a partial solution as files were being accidentally overwritten and becoming increasingly difficult to find. With each department having its own folder and lots of subfolders, searching for documents across departments also became cumbersome. These limitations led Microsoft to release SharePoint in 2003, a powerful tool for document management. SharePoint's strategy was to give each department, instead of a folder on a shared drive, a small private team website on the company's network, a website that contained a document library a library with features that would address all of the problems associated with using folders on shared drives. These departmental SharePoint team sites were arranged in a structure that mimicked the organization's management structure and the structure of the folders on the shared drives. The structure was given a top site that would act as the entry point, provide navigation to all the department sites, and also deliver some valuable information to all employees. This is how intranets were originally structured. Suddenly, instead of going to a folder on a shared drive to work with their documents, members went to their new department intranet site and into that site's document library. While these team sites also supported features to assist the team in their day-to-day -day tasks, like a shared team calendar that they could all link their Outlook calendars to, an announcements list that eliminated the need to do broadcast email, and a shared team task management list. It was the document libraries and how they addressed all of the problems of shared drives that was responsible for SharePoint suddenly becoming the most popular product in Microsoft's history. So what was so great about SharePoint document libraries? Well, versioning, collaboration, custom metadata, and list views. One of the most valuable features of a SharePoint library is called versioning. Simply put, this means that each time a document is opened and edited and saved, a new version is created. Basically, when you see a document in a SharePoint document library, you're looking at the most recent version of that document sitting on top of a stack of all of the previous versions. Documents in SharePoint libraries, when clicked on and opened, will always show you the most recent version. However, each document gives you the capability of selecting it and looking at its version history, every previous version of the document, where you're given the choice of just reviewing it or even restoring it as the most current version. The versioning feature guaranteed that important documents or even important portions of older documents are never lost. You can even go back into an old version of a document and just grab a paragraph out of it. The benefits of versioning also motivated people using the documents to leave them in the library where they were protected rather than downloading them onto their own desktop. By going to the library, opening a document there, editing it there, and saving it there when they're done ensures that everyone is always seeing the latest version of every document. Microsoft actually coined a phrase for this concept, which was one version of the truth. The benefit of knowing that you were looking at the latest version of any document was significant. Collaboration support was another revolutionary new feature. 
with shared drives, a constant concern was the possibility of two people editing the same document at the same time and valuable modifications being accidentally overwritten. SharePoint libraries supported a function called Document Checkout. This feature, when activated, would only allow one person at a time to edit a document. It would still allow everyone else to read the document, but only one editor at a time. When the current editor was through, they would simply check in the document, which would then allow any other authorized member to check it out themselves. This capability vastly improved the integrity of the stored documents. It's important to point out that modern SharePoint libraries have evolved the document collaboration capabilities even further, allowing the simultaneous editing of a document by multiple individuals without risk of damage to the document. Today, simultaneous editing of Microsoft Word documents even displays the names and cursor locations of concurrent contributors using unique colors for each contributor. Another remarkable advancement of SharePoint libraries over shared drives was the ability to apply custom tags or labels, often called metadata, to documents. Historically, in a shared drive folder environment, the only way you could find a specific document would be to go to a top-level department folder, open it, read the names of the subfolders, open one of them, and maybe a few subfolders later, start reading file names, hoping to find the file you were looking for by recognizing something in its file name. Even then, all too often, you were forced to open the document and start reading it to know if it was truly the right one. The more documents you have, and the more folders you need to look in, the more frustrating this becomes. It can actually reach a point when it takes so long to find a document that it's faster to just recreate it. So where document versioning and document checkout protect the integrity and the history of documents in SharePoint libraries, the ability to add custom tags or metadata to individual documents dramatically increases the capability to instantly find any specific document or group of related documents, regardless of where they are in the internet. Beyond the benefits of a more manageable library, all of this metadata dramatically helps the internet's built-in search function. Search can use this additional metadata associated with each file to help provide very accurate search results. And once on the search results page, the metadata is again available to help refine those results even further. After discussing the advantages of SharePoint libraries over shared drives, let's revisit the benefits of a SharePoint intranet and how a collection of department sites can greatly benefit the entire organization. Beyond the libraries, SharePoint department sites provide the perfect vehicle to coordinate the efforts of team members working remotely. Shared calendars, departmental announcements, task lists, and document collaboration provide the means by which a team can continue to work together effectively. SharePoint departmental team sites have become today's digital office. Just as the capabilities of SharePoint libraries have improved over time, so have the department sites that contain them. While there is still a top site serving as the entry point for all employees, there are now various department site templates designed for specific tasks and equipped with even more flexible document libraries. Furthermore, a diverse range of new functionalities from process automation applications to business intelligence dashboards have been added functionalities that are designed to be configured by the end user without assistance from IT. Just as significant, Microsoft has recently created a centralized function called Purview, where organizations can create document management rules that can pertain to every library in the intranet. Rules that can automatically ensure the overall document management implementation is legally compliant including retention rules that can turn a library into a self-cleaning oven with an automatically generated audit report for what was done and why. We hope you found this high-speed overview valuable and that you'll continue watching the rest of the series in order to help us build a powerful, labor-saving internet that best serves the needs of the organization.